Tao overflows. The seven years cycles of life. Really your first expression of love towards the child is to leave his first seven years absolutely innocent and unconditioned. It is to leave him for seven years completely wild and pagan. You will have to understand some significant growth patterns. Life has seven year cycles. It moves in seven year cycles just as earth makes one rotation on its axis in 24 hours. Nobody knows why not 23 or why not 25. There is no way to answer it. It is simply the fact you have to learn it, understand it and how does this work. If you understand this, you will create a child that is that can carry the light of awakening. And if you understand those seven year cycles, you have understood a great deal about human growth. The first seven years are the most important because the foundation of life is being laid during those years. This is the time when the seed that the child comes with begins to grow. That is why all the religions are very much concerned and so too under the influence of the religions, the parents about grabbing children as quickly as possible. Jews will circumcise the child within three days. What nonsense is this? But they are stamping the child as Jew. Muslim do circumcise within a year. That is a primitive way of stamping. You still do it on the cattle around in India. I have seen these stamps on the stray cattle so that their senses can be taken, taken out. Every owner stamps the cattle specifically the big. Otherwise they can get mixed up and indeed it is a cruel thing. Red hot steel has to be used to stamp the cattle's leathery skin. It burns the skin and that burning of the skin is the way of stamping. But, but then it becomes your possession. It cannot be lost, it cannot be stolen. What is circumcises, circumcising? It is stamping the child just like the cattle. Child is innocent, he does not know, he cannot resist. Just like a cattle cannot resist when you stamp his leathery skin with a hot iron. But those cattle are Jews, are Muslims. Hindus have their own ways. All religions have their own ways, but it should be known who's, so that you can be known whose cattle you are. Who your shepherd is? Jesus, Moses, Muhammad, or, and you are not your own master. Those seven years are very crucial in the life of a child. During those seven years, the entire foundation will be laid, how your child is nourished and nurtured. During those first seven years will determine how his life will unfold, how his life will unfold. These are the seven years when you are conditioned, stuffed, 
with all kind of ideas which will go on haunting you throughout your life which will go on distracting you from your potentiality which will corrupt you which will never allow you to see clearly with this it is like a dust or a speck of dust in your eyes and your clarity is lost they will always come like clouds before your eyes the moment you are going to make a decision on your own they will make everything confused from there is born the need for the branches of psychologies child psychology teenager psychology adult psychology psychology of marriage failures and so on and so forth things are clear very clear existence is absolutely clear but your eyes have layers upon layers of dust and all that dust has been arranged in the first 7 years of your life when you were so innocent you were trusting your parents you were trusting your fathers your priests your religious precepts and they willingly knowingly took advantage of your trust and innocence to stamp you when you were so innocent so trusting that whatsoever was told to you you accepted it as truth this is absolute nonsense really whatever has gone into your foundation later on will be very difficult for you to find out to find it has become almost part of your blood bones and very marrow you will ask a thousand other questions but you will never ask about basic foundations of your belief what is the cause of your of your basic foundation of your belief system and who has infused into it the first expression of love towards the child is to leave his first 7 years absolutely innocent unconditioned to leave him for 7 years completely wild and pagan up to 7 years a child up to 7 years if a child can be left innocent uncorrupted by the ideas ideals of the parents the society the priest then to distract him from his potential growth becomes impossible you cannot distract him from his potential growth the child is for 7 years are most vulnerable and they are in the hands of parents teachers and priests i was lucky that for those seven years of my life were in the company of my grandfather and grandmother nakshpat the sufi sheikhs a sheikh a master knows how to take care of those seven years not infusing the belief system but continuously nourishing and nurturing your faculties so that you are protected the seed is protected from being corrupted by the society so do not give your asinine ideas that have never made you happy whatever you are giving to your child have these given you happiness you think it does but it has not if you have a child protect the child from yourself 
protect the child from others who can influence him at least up to seven years protect him then he will become strong enough not to be distracted by anyone during those tender years the child is sent to the company of the awakened one who nourishes his natural potential and nurtures it to grow but we send our children to places run by different religious preceptors during those years the child is like a clay pot now molded it is tender and soft during those years you can mold his life for the world outside the life of duality that each parent does or you can mold the consciousness for life of awakening i was lucky why is there clarity in my visions why is there clarity when you ask a question why is there sincerity in my understanding when you ask a question why you feel why do you feel comfortable asking me a question when you are in a state of confusion because my first seven years of life was not corrupted by the so-called priests and preceptors it was under the benign care of a nakshbandi sheikh he was a nakshbandi sheikh but he was a master he knew how to do it do you know sheikh bahauddin nakshband bahauddin used to do this what shah bahauddin nakshband used to do is yet to be understood by the human mind he was a potter by profession each master or awakened one is really a potter of the inner he molds your inner he inscribes something on the inner the child is just like what he used to do he used to take the the dough of the clay and mold it into a particular shape it is very tender any kind of inscription design can be inscribed on it and then when it is dried and it is baked it remains intact on it until the pot is broken so you want the pot that your child is to be broken so that the impressions could be removed and then he will need the assistance of a psychologist do you want your child to be like that the child is just like a small plant weak soft just a strong wind can destroy it a strong wind coming from your religious preceptors or an animal can eat it up you put a protective wiring around it but that is not imprisoning the child you are simply protecting when the plant is vigor it is capable of taking itself then the wire is removed your love is the real protection your conditioning are like the animals that will destroy the child khalil gibran says child is born through you not from you give him your love not your mind your love will nourish his mind and intelligence to grow naturally and his unparalleled intelligence will function spontaneously growing to one's potential is the awakening of the hidden treasures of the child this is the responsibility of the parents in the next tomorrow session i will explain how i was nourished and nurtured for during those seven years and what kind of questions when i ask what kind of answers i was given until then take care